Hello and welcome to Joy of Stationery. I'm Jennifer and in this video I will be going over just very briefly my September setup, my September lineup. So what I decided for September kind of going into this month is to streamline some things a bit. So moving from what I had tried out as a kind of one pouch August, um, I think, you know, this is very clearly influenced by my love for Hobonichi and also the excitement about the Hobonichi release. Um, sorry about the background noise. That is my kitty <laughs> playing around. Um, but I did feel like Hobonichi season was really great at just getting me um, ex really excited again about the Hobonichi tattoos that I'm using and to see if I can, um, you know, bring back the ones that had fallen a little bit out of use and again, just kind of recommit to what I'm doing in my Hobonichi tattoos. And I started trying that out towards the end of August and kind of moving into the beginning of September. And so here we are. And I will go over what I have been doing thus far. Um, as a quick note also, uh, I know that, you know, some of, some of you have mentioned that the audio in my videos is uh, quite soft and I completely hear you on that. I don't have a lot of um, tech and, and, you know, I'm quite new to the filming. What I'm trying out today and we'll see if this is helpful, <laughs> is actually using my earbuds and maybe the microphone on the earbuds. Um, or I'm sorry, I think it's just kind of um, wired earphones, wired earbuds, uh, to see if that might help a little bit with the volume situation. But if not, I'm also looking into maybe investing in, you know, a, a relatively inexpensive mic to see if that will help kind of solve some of the um, the audio and kind of volume issues. So thank you so much for kind of bearing with me and, and for your patience in the meantime. Um, this definitely started out as a kind of hobby, but, uh, you know, I, I would like to, to be able to kind of improve the quality of especially things like the audio um, and such as I kind of continue with, uh, with the filming and, and with this channel. So um, you can see here that, you know, things again are kind of streamlined. Three techos are, um, are what I have here, um, all Hobonichi. I've got the A6 size, the A5 size, which is new uh, for this year at least, and um, the weeks. And I'll be going over a little bit about how those have been working as September has started. But I also wanted to bring or give some mention to these two items. So these are um, new and uh, new items from a Muji sale. I think that Muji, um, Muji Europe was having a sale on stationary items. And I noticed kind of on the site that there was this beautiful kind of, um, canvas pen case that you know I I love the kind of color of this this sort of um kind of gray gray that's also a little bit rustic and it's a nice canvas material and um kind of neutral but also just really elegant in its simplicity and I was super excited I think this was I want to say that this was only maybe like six euros or so I I could be I could be off by a little bit but um you know I want to say it was about that much and then I also saw that this um was something that was available I didn't even know that Muji carried this but it is a denim pouch I have long been wanting um like a denim pouch maybe like a notebook cover uh, you know, and so, for example, Hobonichi's Blue Blue, when it was first kind of announced, was very tempting to me. I didn't end up getting it um, because I had some other covers kind of higher up on the list that I was interested in. But it's because I've always wanted um, a denim material 
uh, again, kind of pouch or some kind of stationary or stationary adjacent item. And so when I saw this at Muji, I was just, um, I was so excited and it is here. It is beautiful. Um, it is so functional and I'll have to, you know, show a little bit more about it. And so this is kind of my own version of blue, blue, I guess. <laughs> um, and what's even better is I believe that um, because of the sale too, this was only about nine euros or so. Um, and so this was just, um, just really, really kind of amazing. And just to show you this really quickly, it's this um, great durable denim material. And I love that beyond um, the main pocket, um, and I have a book in there at the moment, um, it also has these two external pockets on either side. And on one side, it's an open pocket, so that makes it really kind of easy to say, you know, slip your phone in, for example, or maybe things that you'd like to have easy access to when you're on the go with something like this. And on the other side, this external pocket actually has a zipper. So if you wanted to keep something a little bit more secure and safe, that option is there on the other side. And I, this is just so exciting. I did not even know that Muji carried something like this. And um, again, with just the amazingly affordable kind of prices that Muji has, this is you know, this, this is really a game changer. <laughs> so I, I wanted to share this, um, you know, in case anybody is sort of interested in something like this. Again, I've just long wanted, um, you know, something denim, uh, like a pouch or a pen case or something. And I know, I, I do believe I've seen the occasional option out there, but not at this price point. And again, with this level of kind of functionality and spaciousness. So, um, so this this has been super exciting <laughs> for me. <laughs> um, and so, uh, you know, it came just in time for September as well. Um, I'm sorry if you see a cord in the corner. It's my it's just my earphones. And so I'm I'm trying to <laughs> trying to make this work. Um, but I just thought that this was the perfect pairing for my Hobonichis as well. Um, this is just to give you kind of a sense this this pouch is roughly um, an A5 size pouch. It's not quite big enough to fit this entire kind of A5 techo in with the cover. Um, I haven't tried um, without the cover, but it, it would be a little bit of a, um, it would be a little bit of a kind of a, a, a tight fit, even if it could go in. But, you know, my Weeks and my A6 together I mean you know they fit perfectly in here along with a um, along with a book so I'll, I'll go over you know what that looks like um, to kind of carry things on the go but um, just to kind of give you a sense of what um, what this has looked like in terms of my September lineup or my September setup uh, this of course is my tried and true Hobonichi A6 um, Avec uh, and, you know, I have continued to kind of use it in, um, in, in particular ways. Also, you know, continuing to kind of fi uh, fine tune and experiment a bit, but this has been working just super well for me. And of course I have my new, um, September field notes tucked into the back here. Um, I just wanted also to, um, have a moment <laughs> to appreciate just how how beautiful this cover is. I I I think it's so so pretty. Um, it's so beautiful, and you've got these bears here. Um, just a just a really gorgeous scene. And again, of course, this is one of the national parks series. This is apparently Mount Rainier National Park um, that that is kind of featured on the front here. But just really really beautiful, and I feel like. I guess I felt like in the light there was like a t even a little bit of a sheen to this but um, anyway such a beautiful and bright uh, field notes cover that I have been loving and really glad to have with me as I start September um, what I did end up doing is kind of doing what I had done in previous field notes which is kind of start off the first page with 
a kind of multi-week, multi-month calendar that I just kind of drew in myself. Um, again, just as a kind of reference, I, I like to be able to kind of see, um, you know, uh, I guess more of the calendar at a glance. Um, again, just, just for some easy reference. But, you know, I love that I can kind of tuck this into the back pocket of this Hobonichi Techo cover, the Tokyo Metrodome cover, which I absolutely adore. Um, so glad that I got this in the A6 size uh, for the rest of the year. Um, and so this has been working super well for me. Um, and then I have the weeks. I have a different weeks that I'm using in the um, in my standard traveler's notebook. And that is the Mon Oncle weeks that I had been using for work. And in some of my previous videos, I take a look at you know, some of the layouts that I've been using and um, and what I've kind of ended up with. This one, I am focusing a little bit more on kind of personal and kind of health and, and recovery in a way. Uh, I had started this off, this was the Spring Start Botanical Weeks that um, is, is really beautiful. And this is actually the first um, botanical uh, weeks or botanical kind of design um, from the Tomitaro Makino line uh, that I've ever owned. And so this was from this past spring release, spring 2023. Um, but I started this off as a kind of journal, actually, um, and then fell a little bit out of, uh, you know, fell, it fell a little bit out of use. And then I tried to pick it up as a kind of maybe museum type journal. But nonetheless, it still kind of stayed within the realm of Kind of the the personal right so if i had a separate weeks that was kind of dedicated to work and keeping track of projects i thought that i might dedicate this to um kind of life outside of work in a way so i'm glad to say that i have um you know gotten back into this and i have used a similar layout to my works one for um for the weeks but this time kind of being more attuned to um, my recovery for my health, uh, as well as, you know, kind of a recovery plan. Um, and then um, I had never really, or kind of found a consistent use for my notes pages in the back, but I have actually been using it now as a kind of journal and um, just kind of decorating in a way that I uh, just thought was kind of nice. It's it's um, just kind of pairings of, of washi tape and, you um, and stickers, but I love it so much. Uh, these are actually washi tapes from Milk Tea Danny. And uh, this one is this kind of really gorgeous, um, kind of more like aqua teal-ish tones. Um, and it's, it's uh, a kind of fall washi tape and I believe that she has some new ones in the shop and so I'm eager to get some of those kind of autumn themed ones. This one is a little bit of a kind of a navy uh, navy type um, tone of the blue but it's a beautiful uh, washi tape that um, shows a lot of different kinds of stationery goods and books and things. Um, and so this is, um, again, another really beautiful, beautiful washi tape. Um, and what I've really been liking recently, I guess, you know, in, um, uh, in the spirit of, you know, the fall season coming upon us, which is my favorite season. I, I know it's a favorite for, for many others as well. Um, but it's, it's been kind of this pairing of the, the kind of blues with the orange and browns. Um, so you can see that I've kind of decorated it. These are actually kind of washi stickers from the washi tape shop. And I think it, they're, most of them are kind of autumn themed um, ones. Um, I guess I, I only just realized this literally as I was talking just now. But I guess the orange and blue is, is kind of... Um, on the, on the cover as well uh, of, of the, the Tokyo Metronome. But I just felt like it was, it was giving a nice kind of um, 
fall theme that also kind of had these brews in it. And so it's it's been really fun to be able to kind of journal in this. Um, there's not a whole lot of rhyme or reason to where I'm putting these. You know, sometimes I use it as kind of a border of the page. Uh, but it's, it's just kind of a way to decorate. But I have been loving this. And it's, um, you know, for certain things, certain things kind of pertaining to kind of my recovery and my health and, and other kinds of personal um, thoughts, it's been almost a kind of go-to journal uh, for me as I kind of um, work through a, a particularly challenging point um, in my life right now in terms of health. Uh, so this um, it's been really nice and just such a fun feeling to be able to reach for my Hobonichi Weeks more regularly um, and just to kind of appreciate what a great kind of planner it is, just how... Um, you know, just, just how kind of portable it is. I love bringing this around with me from, from room to room, <laughs> um, just in case that I, I need to kind of jot some things down kind of related to um, recovery. But uh, really, really glad to have brought this into my lineup. And then I have here um, something new for this year. I think I have mentioned in previous videos that the A5 size was something that I was very much in during 2022 and then um, I think with the big international move um, at the beginning of this year uh, and many of the transitions I downsized to the A6 size which has been working really well for me um, but more recently and especially uh, you know kind of getting into the heart of Hobonichi season I was starting to really miss the A5 size again I found the um, the A5 Cousin Day Free uh, available um, on Amazon at half price um, for this year. Uh, so I decided to give that a go and I'm so glad that I did. I used to have um, uh, I, I used to have some other A5 Day Frees from previous years that I used as a research journal. Um, and this is also, Kind of similar to what um, Paulina from Paper Joy PH uh, does in terms of keeping an A6 size day free, I think, as a research journal. Um, at least I think she was doing that for a while. Um, but this time around, I wanted to get this um, this A5 day free to to kind of focus on recovery, and part of that is just kind of engaging in things that bring me joy, um, engaging in some more creativity. And so I have really been loving this um, for that reason. Um, I don't know that I'll show too much, but uh, I've, I've basically just been having fun with, um, with, with just some of these uh, spreads. Um, <laughs> uh, again, kind of um, using the stickers. Um, you can see that I've sort of, um, you know, been using the, these uh, uh, letter kind of stencils and oh I should actually show that this is this was part of the what I got from Muji as well um, and it's this uh, stencil that has letters on it it's just kind of a nice plastic one there's also kind of this um, kind of ripple or you know kind of curved line uh, and um, uh, a few shapes as well as numbers and I've just been going to town with this. I didn't actually have anything with um, that I could stencil letters with. I do, I I do seem to recall. I, I believe that there's a gonna be a brass version of this with kind of letter stencils and maybe kind of ruler that the Traveler's Company has come out with. But I don't have that. Um, and so again, this was uh, extremely affordable. I I don't remember. It might have just even have been a couple of euros or something. Um, you know, and, and again, sort of as, as part of this uh, Muji order with their stationary sale, I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to get this. And um, again, as you can see, I've been going to town with, um, <laughs> with, with the stenciling. It's been really fun. And um, something else that I actually have been doing is... Although I had started this out by kind of populating it with some work things, 
um, I then started kind of stenciling in kind of a key sort of word or key phrase to help me remember that day. Um, and so, you know, again, just, just some things to, um, just some things to, uh, to kind of make this fun. And, um, I, I can't even express what a joy it's been to kind of spend time in this. Um, I didn't realize just how long it had been since I had kind of just let myself, you know, just kind of be creative, do some creative journaling on kind of a larger page. Um, and I love the look of it. I look forward to coming to this, um, you know, when I can, uh, at some point, um, in the day. Uh, and, you know, sometimes it means kind of going back, um, and, um, back journaling just a little bit, you know, I might have, uh, you know, certain things kind of already kind of set in place, but I might kind of fill in some of the journal aspects a little bit later, but, you know, I was able to do this mostly because it was the weekend and, um, I just wanted some, uh, yeah, just, just some kind of creative stationary time. And I, again, I have just been absolutely loving this as, um, you know, something, uh, something joyful and creative to look forward to. And I love that the day free kind of gives me that room to do that as well as provides those kind of monthly spreads. And so I can really do a kind of memory keeping and kind of documenting of, uh, documenting of memories, documenting of um, some of my days and some of the key um, kind of events of the day in here and um, and just to kind of have fun with it, right, with whatever washi tape or um, st stenciling um, and, uh, and or kind of sticker use just to kind of uh, pair with, with some of these memory keeping entries. So this has been um, just really lovely. I really wanted to kind of recommit to bringing a little bit more of that in for um, my kind of streamlined September um, lineup here. And um, it, this is not to say that, uh, you know, I, I'm still kind of using other touches, but I really wanted to kind of focus on these three as a way to kind of simplify for September. Um, I did recently see, and I'll have to look up, um, look up who, who it was on Instagram, but I guess there's a kind of this, um, there's a theme of, um, super simple September, I want to say. Uh, and, um, I don't remember if I've, if I read up too much on it, it you know, it might've also been, you know, kind of, even simplifying spreads and not maybe not using stickers. As you can see, I've not done that. I'm kind of using stickers in, in kind of ways that are kind of joyful for me. Uh, but I felt that, you know, some of the streamlining that I'm doing here was a way to kind of simplify, kind of focus on these Hobonichi Techos that I really, really love. And um, again, as I'm dealing with some particular challenges in my life currently, um, a way to then kind of focus on um, how to how to really kind of um, cultivate joy in my techo uses, right? So even outside of work. And just to kind of show you, um, I have in my pouch right now uh, this um, these beautiful Fitzcarraldo editions. Um, this one is cold enough for snow, so I'm reading this currently, um, and I have this really beautiful and um, and appropriate, I would say, uh, postcard from um, from Love Soup in here that I'm using as a bookmark. But yes, this is, I guess, the kind of um, what I'd like to kind of cultivate in my <laughs> in my soul and in my healing at the moment. Um, so I'm using this as as a bookmark, but you know, this, uh, this fits perfectly in there. Um, I can slip my weeks in there and my A6 Techo and it's perfect. I do have a kind of wallet insert that I can sometimes put in here as well as, you know, certain pens. Um, if I just want to bring a few pens from this pencil or from this pen case, 
that with me. I can stick it in there and then I can stick, for example, my phone, my earphones uh, in the kind of open pocket here. And it's been, um, it's been so handy. It's, it's just been so handy. So this has been really lovely. Uh, I hope that this was just helpful and enjoyable to, um, you know, to watch. Uh, again, just giving you a sense of what my September lineup is. I am also very excited. I have a few Hobonichi orders um, that, uh, that are in the works. And I will be really excited to kind of get those and, you know, sort of start um, start planning uh, potentially for next year, as well as kind of thinking about the rest of the year and my kind of planning uh, and journaling system then. But in any case, uh, again, hope you enjoyed. Um, would love to hear um, how your Septembers are kind of starting off, um, as well as, you know, if you have any kind of Hobonichi plans, um, Hobonichi kind of anticipations um, uh, in terms of maybe orders and uh, and covers or touches that you're excited about. Uh, I would love to hear um, any on all of those. Um, have a lovely week ahead and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.